this video I'm going to be um, showing you the concept of step off in a joint. This also illustrates the concept of displacement. And both of these are very important in fracture management, fracture treatment, and discussion about what to do with fractures, whether you treat them with surgery or without surgery. So the best example is in a joint where you have two bones coming to meet each other. Uh, normally, this area between uh, the bones is covered with nice smooth cartilage and sometimes they'll have this thickened area of bone here underneath the cartilage which is, lives in between these spaces. So in a fracture or a break, same thing, and I'm going to kind of zoom in here a little bit. What you have is a disruption of this smooth surface in the in the joint, and it could be outside of a joint as well. But this just illustrates it pretty well. So you have this little jagged edge here, and we call that a step off, where there's a literally a step, like you're going to step up a staircase between this smooth surface and this smooth surface. So you can imagine that this piece, if I could take a pair of tweezers or something and grab it, I would want to shove it this way to move it back into place. And so the amount of displacement is called a step off. And that just means the amount that the bone is moved away from where it's supposed to be. So you can imagine that if there were the if the other bone was normal and had a normal smooth surface, extending out like this, etc., then that spike of bone right there would slowly grind away this nice smooth surface over time if you allowed it to just sit there. And that's the whole reason that uh, we worry about treating these articular or joint fractures uh, with surgery. If we, and when it comes to the, the question of, well, w will the bones just realign themselves? They won't. This will only get worse uh, or stay the same. So this bone has a tendency to slide this way and isn't going to suddenly go back the other way over time if we just leave it alone. Now if the person starts moving it and um, they don't immobilize the joint properly or don't uh, avoid using it, then uh, that may even get worse and may slip more. So if the step off is small, very tiny, then and, and the pieces stay where they should be, then that person may function just fine with a very tiny step off, but the bigger the step off is, the more tendency there is for that spike of bone to grind away the joint surface over, the, over time.